Greetings, my name is Dennis Daniels. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on VLC and how to play directories on VLC. VLC is one of the most exciting uh, video player applications out there. It is very fast, it's very smooth, it supports a zillion operating systems and uh, file formats. You can play MPEG-1, 2, 4, DivX, MP3, AUG, DVDs, VCDs, and that's the big thing right there. With your DVDs, you don't have to worry about your location. Some manufacturers still uh, think that sending CDs or DVDs by country is smart. We're smarter. We use VLC. I'm going to show you a little tip though in terms of how to play uh, your files because with VLC it's a little it's a little uh, more you know there's a bug <coughs> straight, straight up it's a bit of a bug. Let's go to the desktop start D and I am going to my computer actually I'll go ahead and show you what I mean here. VLC media, media player, it's already installed. I'm running uh, 0.84, click OK, and you get more information at videolab.org. And I'm going to play, I also go to my computer, my computer, I'm going to open up my music file. Now I right click on it, and I can play with a video with a VLC media player and add to VLC media players player list. Now you can see what that does. See that right there? That uh, quotation mark? Well, if I click play, nothing happens. So that's a bug. If I'm going to add the directory to the playlist, like I did here, add to playlist, it should work. It doesn't. You have to go through the VLC, view, playlist, manage, add directory. So you have to get to the playlist and add the directory. <coughs> so let's go ahead and do that. Click on uh, my, okay, it's in my computer. Open up my music, and I select that, music I, that's exactly what I want, click OK. You see the difference between this one and that one? When I, again, when I right click to add to media player and playlist, this is what I get. When I add it directly from the manage directory, this is what I get. Now I want the slash and not this. This is a bug. I'm going to call it a bug. I can delete it. <coughs> I just hit the delete key and I deleted it. Hit the scramble. Or the uh, yeah, scramble. If I hit play, I should get some music. I do. So, going back to our original playing directories is a little more complicated than it should be. There's a bit of a bug in the <coughs> in the right click interface under LXP at least. Uh, your first stop to get more information is videoland.org. And how you can do this yourself, and I highly encourage you to do it, is uh, I'm running Demo Studio on my XP box. XVidCap is the closest thing I've found to something decent on a screen uh, for Linux screencasting. But I'll tell you, it's, uh, Linux is woefully underrepresented in the screencasting area, except for uh, some rather complicated and unfriendly applications. But uh, that said, record what you're doing, people. <clears throat> Share the wealth of your own knowledge of uh, Linux and open source applications. We can get into why the first world and the developing world are, uh, or the industrialized world and the developing world are equal. It's straightforward, it's a matter of electricity. Uh, you go into school rooms you know, around the world and you'll find that most school rooms have no electricity. So in that way, the developed world and the developing world share something similar. 
their schools are power poor. Fix it. If you go out and uh, promote your uh, your own knowledge of open source and uh, networking and computing in the schools, you can help leverage uh, leverage your neighborhood out of uh, the dark ages, if it's anything like the rest of the world. Build an LTAPS, LTSP network for your business, your home, your school, your community center, your retirement community. It doesn't fix the problem of electricity, I know that, but power over the ethernet is coming and we will be able to uh, light up the world with uh, thin client technology. I want to thank you. My name is Dennis Daniels and send me an email if this helped you or someone else you know. Again, thanks and happy computing.